Yeah, so hi everyone. Today we have a special guest with us. We have George Rohan. So George, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm George Rohan. I work as a design engineer at Time Cloud Technologies in Bangalore. Uh, I got selected here one month ago. It was through an interview which was arranged by Spring. Uh, upon completion of my mandatory courses of the program uh, Electric Vehicles Design and Analysis, after the completion of the mandatory courses, uh, I contacted the uh, career services team mm-hmm. and uh, within uh, two weeks, they arranged an interview here in Bangalore, and it was my first interview. Uh, so I came here and I uh, attended the interview rounds uh, and got selected. So in the field of design, a lot of people go in engineering and they want to become design engineers, right? But not many of them have idea like what consists of being a design engineer. So what would you say is the work and role of a design engineer like? Okay. Uh, actually, we what we do here is uh, we get the uh, require we get some requirements from the customer, mm-hmm. or we have some projects. So we have to some we we'll have some uh, they just have some requirements. So mm-hmm. we have to make it uh, possible in a way that is technical yeah. and everything in a, in a way that uh, conforms to the all the engineering standards. So we have to make them. Uh, so we have to imagine. Uh, how this uh, mechanism works for example when he says there is a particular requirement so we have to imagine yeah what uh, mechanism can be introduced here mm. so and uh, at the same time it uh, how much the uh, expense should be the expense should also be minimum so mm. everything should be considered in the material and everything so according to that we should design it it's also it's also it should be manufacturable and everything should be uh, perfect so mm. These all things, uh, apart from the uh, software knowledge, mm-hmm. uh, these all things also should be considered. And mm-hmm. of course, the software knowledge is also really important because we have to work with that software. We have to know the tools, everything that we have to give proper uh, functions and everything. So software knowledge is really important. So along with that, everything should be considered. Mm-hmm. Great, great, great. And for the current company that you're working in, what was the interview experience, the interview process of that like for getting selected? Yeah. Uh, my interview started at uh, about 10.30 in the morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, first, it consisted of uh, uh, aptitude level questions. It consisted okay. of some aptitude level questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, then a technical round, an examination like. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it consisted of some basic rules about the design and designing and everything like the orthographic projection. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is the first angle method? I uh, like that. So then after that exam, it, it, it lasted uh, about 45 minutes or now. Uh, then after that, there was uh, another technical round of uh, examination. It consisted of our engineering, what we studied in mechanical mm-hmm. engineering. Right. Uh, yeah, uh, like uh, some uh, mechanics of machinery chapters, some thermodynamics, uh, some fluid machinery. Mm. So uh, there was also that level. But that was not that much important, I think, because uh, I some somehow I forgot some of the chapters then, but uh, then after that uh, there was a tool test. Mm-hmm. Uh, here the software, the design software used is SolidWorks. So okay. they conducted a tool test. They gave me a couple of they gave me a couple of parts and asked me to finish them. So uh, the parts given here was a little bit complex because it was a part of. A, uh, first one was given was a part of the aircraft mm-hmm. the landing gear, and the oh, other one okay. was the part of an aircraft. Base. It was a little bit complex, but they asked me, uh, yeah, it should not, uh, it no, it won't, it, it it does not need to be an hundred uh, percent perfect, but it should be uh, overall, it should be okay. Hmm. And uh, but there are so many detailings were there in that part, so they told me because it it cannot be completed in one hour. So <laughs> yeah. they told me that yeah, the detailings won't matter. But overall, it should be like yeah, what you see here in the drawing. Hmm. So yeah, I was able to do that. Uh, it's all it works, and I submitted the part files. Uh, so two drawings were given at about uh, that. Uh, two drawings were all, uh, I almost I completed about more than eighty percent, eighty eighty five percent. I completed the drawings. Then again, a uh, final interview was done uh, with the some project managers of this company came, mm-hmm. uh, there were three of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, they interviewed me about uh, around uh, 40, 45 minutes. Uh, 
Yeah, it lasted about, yeah, it started at 6 o'clock in the evening and then it ended at 7.45 almost. Mm. Uh, yeah, the questions asked were in about, uh, first they asked about my previous experience. I worked as an uh, apprentice in uh, Chennai, Renault mm. Nissan uh, manufacturing facility. So they asked me about that interview. Then they asked me about in detail about what I have learned in the training mm. provided by the skilling. Mm. Uh, yeah, that was. Uh, very much, uh, uh, so many questions were asked about the theoretical concepts and the what all things were do, doing in the challenges. Mm. Like uh, we have got so many challenges, right? So, uh, what all courses were the uh, were done by me? Like which are the mandatory courses? So I mm. mentioned the sheet metal designing, plastic designing, and GDNT. Mm. And uh, there, there were some so many questions about GDNT. GDNT mm. was really. Uh, crucial in my interview, uh, but I was able to answer most of the questions about GDNT uh, because it's really important in manufacturing also. So here also in, in this company also GDNT, it's every, everywhere mm. it's important. And there were lots of questions about the plastic design. Uh, how how do uh, you model uh, plastic mm. uh, component, uh, automotive parts? How do you do uh, explain uh, step by step? Mm. And also uh, the about the manufacturing mm. of plastic like injection molding uh, and how to uh, why do we give drafts what are the draft angles and so these things are asked but yeah uh, after uh, yeah i was able to answer all this but mm. uh, yeah before my course i was not uh, aware <laughs> of all such things yeah right 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 so how would you say was the difficulty of the interview according to you yeah difficulty was uh, not that not that much difficult yeah it's uh, medium about, level. yeah medium medium type medium level. Mm -hmm. right 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 so only so because of the huh. course uh, yeah, yeah. otherwise it would be really mm -hmm. right 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 so more on that like for cracking such interviews or for getting into good companies you know it would require a lot of skills so how did you say you got those skills or how did you prepare you know to come on to that level what resources you used everything tell us in details uh, uh, for being a design engineer, uh, the, the primary source of my knowledge was the course which I attended. Hmm. Uh, was, uh, from that course, uh, from that course, I got all the basic stuff and everything. So, which was uh, the course, like the exact course that you had taken? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, the first course was automotive sheet metal design mm -hmm. uh, using Siemens and NextCAD. Mm -hmm. uh, then. Uh, uh, automotive plastic design using CAD JV5 mm -hmm. and the next one was the geometric dimensioning and all rich. Mm. Uh, so these were the mandatory courses. Mm. Uh, so upon completion of these, I contacted the career services team. Uh, so uh, before attending this course, I did not uh, know anything uh, mm. about design, uh, the design standards or even I don't know, I did not know in software. I, what I knew was just some basic uh, tools in SOLIDWORKS, just basic some functions in SOLIDWORKS, not that much advanced, something which I learned in college. Uh, so, uh, after uh, start, uh, after, upon the start beginning of this course, I was able to start from the uh, ground level. Hmm. That's what the difference is. Not, I was a little bit scared about yeah, whether it would be some advanced uh, directly go to the advanced so should I uh, learn the basics myself mm. so it was not like that it start from the root, uh, ground level and then slowly it proceeds uh, so it was able I was able to get a good uh, understanding of how this uh, step mm. works how everything works how everything goes so uh, and also I got exposure in and next get the software mm. and get every players because get every is uh, the widely one of the widely used softwares and most of the OEMs use get every five so mm. uh, by taking this course uh, I was able to learn get every five get every five is really vast but uh, the some basic things and also sheet metal design part designing and assembly get every five uh, so it's really useful and speed and it's really cool. Uh, before this course, I was uh, completely, I was uh, having a very little idea about mm. uh, the tolerancing and all, what, and I don't even know what is GDNT. Mm. So, upon uh, 
doing this course uh, yeah i learned a lot of uh, things that are really crucial for the uh, interviews really crucial for the interviews and also in our daily work mm. it works in our daily yeah. work it's really crucial uh, but uh, the one thing i have to uh, tell is that we should uh, revise uh, <laughs> if we complete one course yeah, uh, yeah yeah it should also we, we should try to revise them also otherwise we will forget hmm. uh, if we finish one course then we will automatically we begin another one so it will be an entirely different software uh, but we should uh, we should just uh, brush up with what we have learned earlier and so many theoretical concepts are also being taught as part of the program so they are really important because uh, we have to brush up uh, we have to brush, brush up uh, all those concepts and also our self research also because there are limitations hmm. uh, for uh, providing so we have to do our own research also so mainly i used uh, yeah internet uh, youtube hmm. and some uh, some oh, articles so related yes. to that so everything was okay mm-hmm. great 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 and how did you get this opportunity of interviewing at your company where did you get this opportunity yeah uh, upon completion of my mandate with courses i contacted the career service team and informed that i have completed these courses so uh, first there would be a test mm-hmm. in this uh, in the platform from skill link uh, yeah uh, from skill link mm-hmm. uh, so we have to pass that test yeah i was able to pass that test and then after that uh, after a, a couple of weeks uh, i think robits uh, oh no uh subin sir called me mm. and he told me that there is a an opportunity in bangalore you have to go there and attend and attend an interview mm. so yeah i yeah i went uh, of course i i went and mm. attended the interview uh, there was also another uh, opportunity i got uh, in tech mahindra also mm. was also oh, informed nice. by uh, robin sir mm. uh, uh, subin sir uh, yeah but that interview was online mm. uh, yeah it lasted about just one hour uh, interview uh, but uh, after joining here i got an opportunity there also but <laughs> i chose here uh, yeah, yeah yeah yes 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 so for you know for your fellow students who are watching this video who are also into a similar branch to yours and they also want to become a design engineer what advice would you give to them you know so that they can also get a job like yours okay uh the one which i have already said uh, that's the main important thing uh we have to go through uh the what are being taught in detail mm. and also uh try to do your own research and one thing which is important is that you should work uh on your own there are so many uh, design videos available in youtube and everything so uh we can also practice with them then don't think we can go hmm. the speed because speed is somewhat uh, important uh, in order to pass the tool test and everything because uh while studying in skilling i had an interview in ashok leyland hmm. uh, so there i was not able to i even though i knew how to hmm. create that model i was not able to do that in time hmm. uh, so uh, because of that reason i was not selected hmm. so it is some what is important in many companies the mm-hmm. uh, many interviews they want to what they want us to finish that uh, within one hour or one and a half hours they will give the time so uh, only if we practice extra only if we practice with some other models we could be able to do it in, do it fast mm-hmm. so it's it's important and, uh, and also uh, we must try to learn everything in detail uh, with our own reference there are so many theoretical like the concepts like for example the concepts like drafting and that that and gdnt concepts everything should be uh, mm. learned in detail uh, so it would help us a lot of course it will help us a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, even if we uh, even though uh, the course uh, which we uh, which i have attended now which i have attended then was really uh, contained with lots of resources which was really helpful in getting a job and uh, i was able to learn so many things but uh, very what was really important is that uh, we have to do 
uh, our own research and we we should have a genuine interest uh, hmm. that we should learn this thing uh, we should master this art so then we can all of course we can succeed because hmm. the course is really good uh, it has got so many things and it was it is well crafted uh, as of my experience in addition to that we should be we should practice uh, hmm. we should uh, put our effort from our side also hmm. so, so Yeah, yeah exactly Actually. so even if you take external resources you don't you shouldn't totally depend on that right you should be doing your own like hard work yourself also preparing yourself also that will help you more in the interview right yes 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 mm-hmm. of course nice 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 okay so i guess that covers pretty much everything about what one can do to become a design engineer so thanks a lot george for coming on my channel sharing sharing your entire journey with thanks. me and i'll give a link to his linkedin in the description if anyone is in mechanical they want to get to their dream job then they can take help from him as well i'll give his linkedin in the description you can follow him through there so again thank you george for coming thank you thank you